Yes. Huh? Mm -hmm. They look good to you, but they ain't good for you. Come on now. Huh? Huh? You had a chance to take some money somewhere, and you decided, no, I don't want it. I go without food. That's the only one God going to bring the food to you. That's right. It's a test. It's just a test. So we got we to gotta take up. We got to take up these, these excuses that we have. Which brings me to the next point. What is your bed? What is your bed like? This is the practicality. This is the practical. Then we're going to talk about the deeper life principle of the bed. But first and foremost, we need to understand that this, this bed, some our comfort zone. It's the routine, the things that we've done all the time. You know, and it's just natural to do. You know, some of the stuff we just said, that's just the way I am. Mm -hmm. Anybody ever said that? Mm -hmm. That's just the way I am. Mm -hmm. huh? I ain't changing nothing. I've mm. always done it this way. Mm. Real? Mm -hmm. Only one person ain't supposed to have that anthem. That's God. Yeah, sure. See, I changed nothing. He, he didn't mm -hmm. put that on us. Right. You can tell us you can't change. Mm -hmm. We are required to change. To change. Yes. Amen. And I gave you the scriptures. The outer man is perishing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And those are images of the outer man. Or the outer man. Mm -hmm. The man that you used to be. So we got to figure out this bed, this, this thing, this situation that made us comfortable. Maybe it's the boyfriend or girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. Oh, Lord. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It must be in a good place tonight because I don't see too many people smiling about it. <laughs> uh, maybe it's something that's, uh, maybe it's a lifetime. Uh, TV. Mm -hmm. ESPN. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to break out with sweats, y'all, because I'm in a whole other season of consecration. <laughs> all right. I got all my ducks in a row. <laughs> Amen. 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 That one eyed monster is not holding me. Yeah. Right. I'm responding to my spirit. But it could be anything, any innocent thing. Mm -hmm. It could be your children, mm -hmm. grandbabies. Yep. Mm. Yep. It could be a bed. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord, help me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It could be uh, Netflix. Anything that brings pleasure to the flesh mm -hmm. is a bed. Mm. Anything. That brings pleasure to your flesh. Where there's no sensitivity to the Spirit of God. That is your bed. The place where there's constant resistance. When you know God is telling you to go this way. And you said, not so. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no, no. So the bed symbolizes your handicap or your shame. Maybe it's something you've done in times past. Huh? Nobody here is without fault. All of us done some things that some of us wouldn't call. Right? Yeah, yeah, y'all looking at me real funny. It's enough shame to go around. <laughs> what handicaps you? Maybe it's your tongue. Maybe that's your bed. Maybe you just got a mouth. Maybe you, you got self-justification. Maybe you're a vengeful, spiteful person. Maybe you just thought you're just the lion and not the lamb. Maybe you picked out a couple of scriptures you like that fits your world. <laughs> I'm, I'm saying I'm going deep because these are some things that God is telling us to take up now. Yes. Yeah. To rule over it. Yeah. And not to have control over it. Yeah. We've been in this place a long time. Yeah. We've overstayed our welcome. Mm -hmm. Being impotent and hot and blind yeah. and withered. Mm -hmm. We don't need those characteristics. We're supposed to yeah. blossom. That's right. They yeah. say we're supposed to flex, flourish. Yeah. Am I right? Don't yeah. the word says when we're planted we flourish? Yeah. We're supposed to flourish as a people. We're supposed to be healthy, whole, mm -hmm. strong. Amen. Amen. So it could be a litany of stuff that's that have become our our, our bed, and, and that is uh, uh, a false sense of uh, security and expectation that we've had over times past. It could be maybe God moved at a certain ram or a certain level in your life, and He's no longer there, and you you're still there, but He's gone. <laughs> that could be a bed. Hmm? 
Maybe it's a church you love. Somebody that's watching. Maybe it's a church. You, you love the style of the pastor. You, you love, he has some you know, nice shoes. I don't know. You know. The carpet was nice. The building was nice. The drive was nice. It's five minutes away. It could be your bed. But God is calling you to another place. These are, these are mentalities that need to be addressed so God can shift us to the next place so we can walk. But the Greek word for, for bed is to weigh anchor. So this bed has become an anchor to him. And this bed can become an anchor to us. But now it's time for us to take up our anchor or take up our bed and move forward into the next season of our life, the next level of our life. And not be fooled by vain deceit and the philosophies of this world and the rudiments of this world. But for us to be led by the great shepherd. I'm still on Psalm 23. I know I ain't preached it in a while. The Lord is my shepherd. I should not want. He makes us lie down in green pastures. Amen. Oh, oh boy. Too many people have become so comfortable just being abnormal. But they don't want to be made whole. Because your enemy has become a friend of me. Hmm? Maybe. God wants to change your perspective and give you the solutions that's necessary so that you can operate in faith and in dominion. Mm -hmm. See, you can have a passive faith and believe God for things and yet never um, put works on it. You can have a faith, believe in God for something. Mm -hmm. Trust me, faith is a bed without works. Mm -hmm. You can sit around and say, I'm believing God for a breakthrough. I'm believing God for this. I'm believing God to restore. I'm believing God to heal. I'm believing God to light my fire. I'm believing God to do certain aspects he's done in times past and certain fulfillments of prophetic words that's spoken on my life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Those can become beds mm -hmm. because you're waiting once again for the waters to be troubled. Mm -hmm. And God is telling you in that season, in that cycle of time, take up your bed. Take up your bed. So you want to challenge our concepts of what deliverance is all about. That's what I'm thinking about. I'm like, man, that's powerful. But the more we complain about our problems, the more problems you have to complain about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's exactly it. So we got we can't keep complaining. We got to take authority. People say, well, you don't know. Uh, I, I can't give. No, no, you can't discipline your spending. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. And that's not a given issue. Right. It's that you're not you're not handling your monies. The ninety percent is not being handled correctly. Mm -hmm. If you handle the rest, maybe your money will find rest. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> maybe you get some rest. But no, but seriously. <laughs> we, we we wrestle with certain aspects of our faith, not understanding on the other side of our obedience is the blessing. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. On the other side of mm -hmm. obedience is our blessing. We're trying to figure out what's being held up. It's your thinking that's holding it up. And stop complaining about your situation. So God is trying to get the people to come to a, a, a spiritual progress when we talk about the bed. That everything is tied and connected into Christ. So that we can have our portion. See, you can know all the Bible scriptures. You can know all... The knowledge, you can have all the knowledge, is like I said in 1 Corinthians 13, you can have all knowledge and, and then still not be successful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Knowledge, you, in fact, Proverbs says knowledge fills the house. Mm -hmm. 24 verses 4 and 5 mm -hmm. says knowledge fills the house. Knowledge is something it's good to look at. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's speculative and it's subjective. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's good to get knowledge. To be an astute person, be intelligent mm -hmm. as it relates to spiritual things. Mm -hmm. To be fluent and eloquent. Mm -hmm. but then there comes a moment you're going to get frustrated with all the, the gleaning and the gathering you acquired because there's no internal change. Mm -hmm. You got it in the barn, but there's no manifestation. Mm -hmm. You got it in your head, but it's not making an impact into your life. Yes. Yes. Amen? Amen. Amen. Mm. Mm. Everything we're going to need, it, 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 it's not going to be all our activities and stuff for us to rise up and take authority over these beds. And another bed is church attendance. 
Belonging to a church? Mm -hmm. Membership? Who's hot? Who's not? Mm -hmm. Or the next fan? The next guy that's on the, on the block? Mm -hmm. Everybody want to flock that way? Yeah, he's the next one. You know how many folks have been the next one in the last 20 years? Mm -hmm. And how many folks are not on the scene right now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That they were a fad mm -hmm. for a day. Yep. Fad. I just want God. Amen. I want God to show me how to take authority over everything that's in my life. I've been in certain conditions too long. I know some of us can probably touch and agree. Am I right? Yes. We got to understand it. that this bed, we have the capacity, we have the ability now. If we respond to God, if we collect our faculties, if we come out of obscurity, out of inactivity, out of ruins. We stop leaning on the old mind, the old patterns, the old man, the carnal mind, which is the shadow of death. Huh? If we can only do that, if we can only shift in our thinking, if we can only repent in our thinking, if we can draw from another source, not just to the letter, but just draw from another source. Which the source, it is not, and see, Jesus said, I'm going to send you another comforter. Somebody just like me. He won't be physical, he's going to be spiritual. He's going to live in a multi faceted way, in a many membered body, on a large scale. 